Now live look outside on this Tuesday. I'm here with WDSU meteorologist Jay Gallet for a check on our forecast. A beautiful day, but you said something about rain. Yeah, we could see maybe a sprinkle. Okay, I'll Thursday. take a sprinkle. Yeah, All right, a better just chance a little. Also, but the clouds are coming back in. Aww. Yeah, I know. So it's going to be kind of gray. Have a look at the satellite and radar picture. Not seeing much in the way of clouds or rain right now. And I think maybe a stray sprinkle is going to be about the best we can manage. So I'm going to continue to say, say we stay mostly dry. Now to our north, we got this boundary up here that's kind of stalled. It's going to sag southward, and that's what could uh, open the door for maybe you know a sprinkle here or a sprinkle there. Nothing widespread. 74 was today's high temperature. 63 is the average, so we are trending above the average, and we're going to be staying above the average. 46 is the average low. We bottomed out at 52, so trending above the average both in the morning and in the afternoon. If we go back the last seven days, not including today, mind you, going back to last Wednesday, 68. We topped out at 78 last Wednesday, but notice 53 on Friday, 55 on Saturday. So below the average Friday and Saturday, we're back up into the 70s once again. And like I said, that's going to continue. Currently outside uh, along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, mid to upper 60s, mid 60s in Boothville at 66 and 69 in Galliano. Otherwise, everyone else low to mid 70s, 70 degrees in Bell Chase, 72 at the airport and 75 at this hour in Bogalusa. It's been breezy in the previous afternoon and afternoons and that's continues. Take a look, 18 mile per hour winds at the lakefront, 17 in Bell Chase, 12 miles per hour in Hammond. So I think the afternoons, especially south of Lake Pontchartrain, will continue to stay a bit on the breezy side. Not too bad, just a nice breeze now. We're going to stay mostly dry for the work week. I say mostly dry because we could pick up that stray sprinkle. Stays fairly mild. I think our next real rain chance is going to be Sunday, but that looks like it's starting to wane a little bit. So here's our boundary stall toward the north and the reason why in the upper levels the jet stream doesn't drop much further than say northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and it is going to be kind of flattening out. And when that happens, it's hard to get the fronts through here or to get any cold air through here, mind you. And as we take a look, could be see a couple of spots of some fog tomorrow morning, nothing widespread. And then as you can see, the clouds start moving back in on that onshore flow and 130 tomorrow afternoon thereabouts. There you see a couple of spots of green. Now, do I think that's going to happen? No, I think if we get a spotty shower, our best chance is going to be Thursday and possibly Friday. But there's our front, and I think that's as far south as it sinks. And as we get into the overnight hours, Thursday and then in the Thursday afternoon, again, a chance for maybe a stray shower. So for tonight, low to mid 50s, patchy fog, again, going to be patchy, nothing widespread. I think a better chance for tomorrow night into uh, Thursday morning is going to be developing as far as fog goes. Mid uh, low to mid 70s once again winds out of the south, maybe mostly cloudy, a few breaks of sunshine, keeping it mild and your seven day forecast have a look. So I didn't put any rain chances in because they're really, really low. But Thursday, Friday, Thursday, by the way, Groundhog Day. Uh, we'll see if uh, Poxitani Phil sees his shadow or not. And then as we get into the weekend on Sunday, I think a front will get really close, and that's why I went ahead and threw in a 30% chance of rain, but otherwise, like I said, mainly dry and mostly fair. All right, let's give away an umbrella.